gonna make a duo Halloween costume from Over the Garden Wall, and all of us gonna be worth. 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 All of us gonna be worth, and I'm gonna be Greg. Greg. And we're gonna watch it later too. I watch it twice, I think. And me and Alva gonna watch it again. I don't remember much because my brain is a fart. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So Alva is filming her Greg costume. Word and then I'm gonna edit that and do a voiceover, I think. Okay, let's go! So we started to watch Over the Garden Wall as a warm up, but yeah, I slept for two hours. Welcome to How to Make Word's Hat with Alva. So she used felt to make the hat and she clamped two of the sides together and stitched it by hand, as you can see here. And then she tried the hat on and decided where to cut it. And the hat is done. Look at this cutie pahootie modeling for us. <laughs> now we're actually on a thrift flip because Alva thrifted this piece of fabric and it's folded into four before she drew a quarter of a circle on it. And now she's making an identical one in red because it's going to be the inside of the cape. She's using the same technique for the button holders and oop, that's me obsessed with puzzling. So now Alva is making the collar and she's sewing three of the sides together so she can turn it inside out. Then she's attaching this to the collar of the blue cape and then afterwards she's attaching it on the inside of the red cape. I'm sorry you guys, this is not a fully on tutorial, but I'll link a tutorial in my description, the one she used. But she's essentially like attaching the cape together now and leaving a small hole so she can turn it inside out as she's doing right now. Something I never did when I was younger, but you should always iron your piece before you top stitch it. It will look so fresh and clean. And then she's attaching the buttons. And did you know that Alva's only sewn a few times before this? I'm so proud of you, Alva. <sighs> I just took a two hour nap or something. Um, I was supposed to do the hat today, but now I'm teaching Alva how to do a button. And then it's like this. Ta da! Nice! Also, problem. Yes! Wow. <laughs> and for the finishing touches, she's top stitching and adding a little hook for the collar. And here is the shirt she altered together with the cape. So I'm gonna make Greg's costume. I think I have most of the things for a costume. I'm gonna show you all. Okay, so let me show you. I have his purse and it's so similar so it's perfect. He has a basic white shirt so I have one already here. The white tights. The best part. I have the frog. I have word 2 or word junior. I already have a dress from Korea that's like pretty similar. So either I might like pin it to look like it's shorter or I'll make one from scratch. But at least I'm missing the... I have this cardboard box that I'm gonna use as the base of the teapot. Wish me good luck. Of course, we need a hot, hot glue gun. So I bought modeling paste so I could like make it more rounded after I've like put together all of the shapes. I also bought a silver spray. And yeah, let's go. As I did in my past two videos, I managed to film in slow motion again, but the first prototype I made was too small, the second one was way too big, and the third one was good enough. Okay, so on to the next step. It's a pretty thick cardboard, but we're gonna make it work. I'm using my little stencil and I'm drawing the points where it's supposed to fold. And a few times with a pencil is the best. You can go ahead and fold them. When you have all of these, you can glue them together with hot glue gun here. Squish it. No, stop lifting! And now we just hold and hold. I think that's alrighty. This needs a lid. 
I'm just gonna like draw around it. So I want to expand it by one centimeter. Okay, now I have this, what's it called? Eight quad, quad oak droplets. What is it? Oh my God, that was satisfying. Look, it looks so cute. Now we have the border around it there and just Glue it together here. Hi, it's me in slow motion again. So for the handle, I just made two long pieces that I folded a little bit. And then I'm making smaller pieces and attaching it to the handle. Making the spot is very much trial and error because I'm making these shapes that are thin in the middle and wider at the end and gluing them together. I made like a little panel here I love the thing <laughs> yeah, so cute next step <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> I'm tired man I'm tired I'm sorry I managed to film in slow motion again but I'm using this modeling clay to fill in the empty spaces and to smoothen the surface a little bit Okay, so it's day two and I let it dry overnight and I did fill in some more holes. I feel like I should have made the bottom a circle instead of this shape. I didn't think it through so I was like, oh, since this is squared, I need to make this square. But it would have looked like a round thing completely if I just kept the top rounded, but I'm done. I'm done with sanding so it looks a little bit better. When I'm using the chrome paint and I need to spray it outside. I'm going outside onto the grass. Okay, let's see. Maybe a little bit on the top here. I'll just leave it like this. Do you come on the back? Do you have me? Yeah. It's a very nice It's day two of making a costume. Or maybe day three because Alva has already stopped it. And I don't know if I can make it in time, honestly. I have a back dress for the outfit, which I showed you guys. This fabric thingy that I bought on Threatex. I think it's a Duke. Yeah, Duke. And it's super nice. It's the right color, but it has some patterns in the middle. So I don't know how to deal with that. And also, like, his outfit. If you've seen it, it's down to his knees, I think. And then it goes up to his boobs, or my boobs. So it's gonna be very long. And I don't have enough fabric for that. So maybe I'll just make some bloomers instead. I don't know how to make it though, so that's le problem. We need to find a pair of shorts that I like. I kinda want them to fit sort of the same. I'm gonna try to fold it so I can see the seam. Yeah. Trace it. I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than it is, so I'm gonna add three centimeters on each side just to make sure I have some leeway. So I'm just gonna make a straight line back here. Molasses. I'm really, really sorry about the mess that I made. I'm like stressed and I only have a few hours and I'm probably not gonna sleep before two or three because I use a lot of time and I have to clean tomorrow too and I have a lot to do. <laughs> I'm stressed, okay? I made it way, way too big, which was the point, but I want it to be like a really floofy bloomer. I attached this elastic really quickly with just some pins inside and it looks pretty darn cute. I'll see if I have more of this stuff because it's too tight on my legs and I can literally feel my blood disappearing. My blood flow is flowing away. <laughs> <laughs> we have my oh, touch. I have my surgery here. Oh. I'm fixing this for the legs because I made it too short and it was killing my legs so I'm attaching this. So yeah, I'm making a square and I'm just turning it around and then I'll make a crisscross. Here it is. <laughs> to make the legs, I'm just lining this up. Now I made it secure and now I need to stretch it fucking hard. 
That's funny. <laughs> I like frog pants. So I think I can make a waistband if I roll this over twice. Okay, they're done. <gasps> Look at the waistband. It's so pretty. Is it perfect? The only thing is that I don't like the seam here because I like the poofiness of it. So yeah, I gotta pack it now and then I'm gonna show you the whole outfit with Allah tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you the whole outfit with Allah tomorrow. Psych! Of course I had to go ahead and make the top and stay awake even longer. It's important that I get this over my butt. I have the line on the top and I'm just gonna fold it once. I'll just start threading it. Okay, I was supposed to look like a potato chip but this is a bit too much and I don't like the hem here. I'm done seam ripping the whole thing. This one needs to be a 5. So I left some space here. This elastic is under one centimeter. So thread the whole thing. And look at my headband. I made this a few days ago. I need to make two straps here right now. So I have some scrap fabric and I'm gonna make it out of that. So we have it here. Let's sew four scraps now. It's currently 4.30 and I'm still going strong. Yeah, I think I'll split it on the side. Okay, I just split the side and it looks way better. It falls pretty. So I'm gonna hem the line now and then I'm gonna attach these things and then I think I'm done with it. Hi. It's currently... 7.30 in the morning I've been working till like 6, 7 a.m. I hemmed the shorts because I figured I could just push them up and it looked really pretty and I can also like fold it inside if I want that instead I can't wait to show you guys the final outfit tomorrow now I'm gonna sleep like for two hours or something so finished outfit. I drew a rock fact on it. A rock fact! I just need to draw on it but I don't want to carry a stone around because I feel like I'm gonna hurt people because I'm a little bit all over the place and if I carry a rock in my backpack I feel like if I move I'm slapping people with my stone so I'm not gonna have the stone but a rock fact and also oh my god my hat is gonna annoy me so much. I'm gonna fill up my bag with candy and throw them at people at the party. Thank you for watching, bye!